Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys five really awesome iPhone hacks that you must try on your iOS 16 device. Now, of course, over the years and months, there are a lot of hacks that we reveal on iPhone, but some of them are of course not working currently on iOS 16, but these that I'm about to show you guys work perfectly fine on iOS 16 and you must try them on your iPhone. Now here's the first one, how to create blank spaces on the home screen of your iPhone running iOS 16, like this right here. You can see I have my icons on this side, while right here I don't have anything at all. We just have here a blank space and this makes the home screen look really, really different. Now you can actually adjust this and what we can do here is just move this around. You can see what I can do here with this. These are actually of course widgets. So we tap right there and just choose the position and there we go. We have these amazing setups on the home screen that make the home screen look way, way different. Now how to achieve this, what you need to do, first of all, go ahead and install an app that I will leave linked right down below in the description of this video is this app right here. Once you have the app installed, head onto your home screen, go to the edit mode, swipe to the last page where there are no icons at all, take a screenshot, and now go to the app, just go into the app and load the screenshot you just took. Once you have done that, now you're good to go. All you have to do now is go to the home screen and just add the widgets there. And of course, choose the position of where you have the widget. So you can add the, the smaller, the medium and the bigger widgets and have blank spaces anywhere you want on the home screen of your device. Another really cool thing you can do with this app and also in combination with widgets on the home screen, you can have secret or hidden widgets on the home screen. Like you can see, we have this blank page right here, but we can actually reveal these widgets. We can again, just put them away and just like that, we have a totally blank page on the home screen. Now this is really interesting. Anytime you need a widget, you can reveal it like this and then just hide it like this. Now the way it works again with the same app, you just add a blank widget on the home screen just like I showed you guys right here. And then what you can do is add a widget from the widgets panel and all you have to do now is just drag this widget into the blank widget and now it will create a stack of widgets. So now you're good to go. You have your widgets here and you have a blank one which will cover the other ones. Now what you need to do here is just go to tap edit stack and make sure you have these two disabled and now you're good to go. You will have these widgets that are actually hidden right on the home screen of your device. For this next hack or trick or whatever you want to call it, we're using automations. Now this is really cool. This will allow you to lock your device whenever someone opens an app that you don't want them to open. And you can only lock it with a passcode or face ID. I showed you guys a video how to lock apps before. This is not the same thing. This is different. Let me show you guys how to do that. So tap on create personal automation, find app here, choose the app you want to lock, tap on the dumb button and then tap next, tap on add action and search for start guided access. Once you find start guided access, tap right there, tap the next button, make sure you disable this and this right here and tap the dumb button. What you need to do next is head on to your settings and make sure you have set up guided access. So you go to accessibility and find guided access right here. Make sure you go to passcode settings and enable face ID. And of course you can set a passcode here. So let's just set one. And now once someone opens that app, it will automatically start guided access. What it means they can no longer get out of the app or use the app at all. Now for this, you will have actually to edit here as well. So just tap three times right there and enter the passcode of guided access and tap on options. And here you can choose what you want to enable or disable when guided access is started. So if you just want to lock someone, really lock them into that app, won't be able to actually use any of the buttons or any actually use the touch screen at all. So you can see you just disable everything here and the device won't basically do anything at all here. It will just freeze until of course you end guided access and then from here you can get out of the app. 
Here's another really cool trick that you can do with automations. If you just want to mess with someone or you actually don't want to allow someone to use an app, you can just get them out of that app immediately by doing this hack. Go to automations right here, tap on create personal automation and go to app and choose the app you don't want someone to open. Let's say calculator again, tap on the dumb button, tap on next here and tap on open app. And from here, choose the app you want them to open. So let's say calendar, tap next, disable this, tap on don't ask. Once you tap done, you're good to go. Now, every time someone on your device will try to actually open the calculator app, it will just go back to the calendar app. So they won't be able to actually open the calculator at all. Anytime it's open, it will just redirect them to the calculator, to the calendar app. Next up, I will show you guys how to install custom icons on your iPhone on iOS 16 and that the easy way. Not just create every icon by yourself, but install packs of icons that actually work. So I can tap here and just open the app I want to open. It's really easy to do that, really easy to actually even remove them if you don't want them anymore. And it actually works in a few simple steps. Now, what you need to do is install this app called Maloco. This is an app that you can install for free from the app store and it offers free packs of different icons. So you can see right here all the different icons that you can install. It will have, of course, different packs. And once you find one that you when you install, you tap on it and you will have here two different like groups of icons. So you will have a group for the system apps and then you have the third party apps as well. Now what you want to do here, just tap on download. It will redirect it to Safari and just install this profile on your device. Once the profile is installed, you're good to go. You have the icons on the home screen and they look actually really, really nice. Now what you can do here is of course open the apps they work just like normally of course it will have that redirection that apple isn't removing even with ios 16 but you can actually kind of fix that by simply going to your settings so let's just head on to settings here go to settings go under accessibility and then go right here to per app settings and go to home screen and what you need to do here is make sure that you have enabled reduce motion tap on reduce motion on you can see how that will change if i try to open music again you can see it just has that fade in and it has no transition which makes it really really cool now if you want to actually remove these from your home screen what you can do is go to your settings and from the general settings you can easily remove those go to general and go right here to vpn and device management find the profile you just installed and simply remove the profile and all the icons will be gone and removed from your home screen. And last but not least, I will show you guys something really cool that actually can be done only on the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. If you create custom icons using the shortcuts app, which a lot of people do, now you won't actually get a transition or you won't get that notification from the shortcuts app whenever it opens the app that you created the icon for it will actually do something really cool so here i have a shortcut to open instagram so let's just add this to the home screen so we can tap here tap add to home screen let's just choose an icon here so let's choose a photo and now let's add it to the home screen and you can see here what i'm talking about when i open instagram from here it won't actually show any notification, but it will just show the icon of Instagram right here on the dynamic island. And that's actually really, really cool. You can see every time you open an app, it will show the icon right there on the dynamic island. This is a really nice animation that Apple has added with iOS 16 and of course the dynamic island and makes this thing much, much better. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are five hacks that you can try right now on your iOS 16 device. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, and of course, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next video.